Covered in brown spiky hair with nine pairs of curly arms, the hag moth caterpillar isn't like any other caterpillar. Its hairy appearance has given it the nickname monkey slug. This strange insect can be found in North America, where it lurks through shady trees and ornamental shrubbery. This hairy little creature isn't as innocent as it may appear. The hairs on its back connect to toxic glands within the caterpillar's skin. If you're curious enough to reach out and touch these hairs, your hand will instantly turn bright red and you'll feel a burning, itching sensation, kind of similar to a bee sting. So don't do that! But if you have been stung by the hag moth caterpillar, you should instantly run the sting underwater to remove any insect hairs that may remain. The sting mark should start to heal and be gone in a week. The bullet ant is the largest of all the ant species. Still, despite being the biggest, they grow no larger than the size of a penny. The bullet ant is most likely to be found in countries such as Nicaragua and Paraguay, deep within the rainforests. It might be small, but it has a big bite. The bite of a bullet ant is up to 30 times more painful than the sting of a wasp or a bee. Locals sometimes refer to the small insect as the 24-hour ant because you'll experience an entire day of discomfort after their bite. Despite the unpleasant feeling, the bite of a bullet ant isn't too dangerous and it should heal within a week. These ants have a particular habit that might make it easy to avoid their powerful bite. Bullet ants release a strong and disgusting stench to drive away predators. So if you ever find yourself trekking through the rainforest and smell an intensely unpleasant odor, hey, I'm sorry. Kissing bugs look similar to your typical cockroach, except slimmer, wingless, and with an interesting line pattern on their back. Even though the name might sound cute, these insects are anything but. The kissing bug can typically be found in the warmer southern states of the US, and these pesky little things will hide anywhere, in cracks, under beds, and in furniture. These insects are nicknamed vampire bugs, as they only come out at night. While their bite doesn't feel too painful, it can be incredibly dangerous. It's common for humans to be allergic to the kissing bug saliva, and if that's the case, their bite will cause the skin to be incredibly itchy. These bugs also carry a dangerous parasite that badly affects most humans. If you ever get bitten by a kissing bug, make sure to visit your doctor as soon as possible. The Japanese hornet is the largest species of hornet in the world. The Japanese hornets have a yellow and black striped pattern. Their size and shape make them distinguishable from bees and wasps. The Japanese hornet is much larger and thinner than a bumblebee and much longer than a wasp. These hornets, of course, live in Japan. No, not Toledo, where they travel in colonies of up to 700 members. People who have previously been stung by the Japanese hornet liken it to being struck by a red-hot poker. If you are ever unlucky enough to be stung by one of these insects, immediately call an ambulance, and while you wait for its arrival, wash the sting with cold water. The black widow spider is one of the most notoriously dangerous insects in the animal kingdom. Roughly the size of a paperclip, the hourglass-shaped red markings on the spider's belly make it easy to distinguish. These bugs often travel alone and can be found in warmer regions in dark, dry shelters such as basements or garages. Black widows are considered the most venomous spiders in North America. Their venom is 15 times stronger than a rattlesnake's. Strangely enough, the bite of a black widow doesn't feel particularly painful. It feels more like a pinprick, but it can make you incredibly sick. If you come across a black widow in your basement, don't irritate it, as they only bite when annoyed. If you get bitten, immediately seek emergency care. Healthcare professionals can offer you a black widow anti-venom that reduces the bite symptoms. The yellow jacket is a dangerous species of wasp that can be found all over the world. They're named for their distinctive yellow and black patterns. The yellow is a striking neon color much brighter than a normal wasp. Yellow jackets live in large colonies and build their nests in trees, bushes, and even underground. If you come across a yellow jacket nest, move away slowly and be careful not to threaten or irritate the wasps. The sting of a yellow jacket definitely isn't a pleasant feeling. While most people think that scorpions are related to crabs and other crustaceans, they're actually a form of insect. Scorpions are a type of arachnid, meaning they are closely related to spiders. They tend to be found in warm, dry climates like deserts. Scorpions most often come out at night. They are predatory creatures known to sting on sight. Their sting feels similar to a wasp's, but it can be much more dangerous. Scorpion stings tend to accelerate heart rates and cause difficulty breathing. 
If a scorpion stings you, immediately wash out the wound. Contact a healthcare professional who can give you a scorpion sting anti-venom treatment. There are just shy of 300 different species of fire ants all across the world. All of the species have the same powerful bite. They're tiny insects who travel in large colonies and have a distinct light brown color, almost red. Fire ants are most commonly found in the United States and are attracted to food. They tend to crash a lot of picnics they're not invited to. Kind of like my nephews. Fire ant bites are incredibly itchy, but not very dangerous. Running the bites under some cold water should help soothe the itchiness, and the bite should go away in a week or so. If you have a more severe reaction than itchiness, make sure to seek urgent care from your doctor. Honeybees are some of our most beloved insects. They pollinate our flowers, create honey for us to eat, and generally leave humans alone. Honeybees are social insects who live in large colonies. Surprisingly, a sting from a regular honeybee can be extremely dangerous to some people, especially the elderly. If a honeybee stings you, immediately remove the stinger that will be lodged in your skin. Wash the affected area with soap and water. The sting should heal within a week. If you suffer from more severe conditions, you should immediately contact a healthcare professional. Tarantula hawks are long, thin insects with beautiful rust-colored wings and yellow antenna. They tend to be found in rainforests across Asia, America, and Africa. They tend to live alone and make their homes by burrowing into the ground. If you ever come across a tarantula hawk, be sure to move away very slowly. These insects only attack if they sense a threat. Tarantula hawks are thought to have one of the most painful stings in the world. The pain of the tarantula hawk sting is incredibly intense and lasts for 3 to 4 minutes. After these minutes have passed, the sting won't require any urgent care and should heal on its own. The warrior wasp is a peculiar species. Unlike other wasps, the warrior wasp lacks any yellow stripes and is instead fully jet black. So black, they almost look blue. Ooh, ninja! Some people refer to these insects as drumming wasps. When a stranger approaches, the wasps beat their wings in a synchronized fashion, like drummers in a marching band. Warrior wasps prefer warmer climates and can be found in the tropical rainforests of South America. Out of all the species of wasps, the warrior wasp has the most painful sting. The sting doesn't require any emergency medical help and should heal within a week. The Amazonian giant centipede can be found lurking throughout the tropical climates of South America and the Caribbean. With a distinguishable red color, it is the largest species of centipede in the world and can grow up to a foot long. So that's a foot-long bug with 100 feet. Ironic, isn't it? The giant centipede has a venom dangerous for other insects and smaller animals, but isn't a risk to humans. Despite that, their bite is still unpleasant and causes a burning sensation. If you get bitten by one of these critters, the symptoms can last anywhere from a few hours to a few days. If you have a more serious reaction, you know what to do. Go see the doc.